just when you thought it was safe to make macarons, there's a shark attack. Shark Week is approaching, and that means it's a bad week to be a seal. I'm Lauren, and today at the Princess Baker, I'm celebrating Shark Week with a collection of shark character macarons. From coloring batter to tricks to piping shapes, I'll show you how to make some jawsome macaron desserts. We start macarons as always by weighing out all of our ingredients. There's a complete video on how to master making macarons linked below, so I will be swimming right through the mixing and macronage of these cookies. If you're new to my channel, hey new friend, welcome! Each week I share recipes and fun dessert decorating ideas like this, so subscribe to see what we make together next! I'm creating three separate colors to make these cookies. I'll need blue for the water, and two different shades of gray for the sharks. I stop mixing the main batter before it's fully ready to color each shade before continuing macronage to the right consistency in each color. Then transfer to piping bags. I bought graphics off of Etsy and printed a template. Make sure your images are also reversed so you can sandwich your macarons together. Start by piping the shape of the fin. Do the outside of the fin, then come to the inside, swirling the piping bag up as you lift. This ensures you fill the middle of the cookie. Always remember to tap your tray to release any air bubbles. Then pipe the blue water. I also go over the base of the fin to add dimension. Don't worry, the batter will sink. To make 3D fins, I'm piping a different color gray fin shape. These will go on top of blue circle cookies for a 3D effect. Set these aside to rest while we make our other shapes. In the meantime, set your oven temperature to 300 degrees. Next I'm doing fins with a little more detail. Using the same template as before, I'm tracing a darker part of the fin and then filling in with a lighter shade of gray. Guide the batter where it needs to go with a scribe tool or a toothpick. Then, add the waves around the fin and repeat. Don't worry, I will not be singing the baby shark song. You don't want it stuck in your head and I don't need it stuck in mine either. Just continue making shark fins. For the next row, I'm blending the two shades of gray. Sharks are defined by their dorsal fins and no two are ever alike, so I'm giving them a fingerprint by blending the colors together. It goes without saying, but don't forget to remove your template. Paper will burn in the oven and that will make a total mess. Now set these aside to rest. Next up, breaching sharks. There's nothing better than air jaws, so of course he's becoming a macaron. First, change your piping tips to the size that you need. You can pipe the inner part of the shark and then the outer edge, or the outer edge and then the inside. Whichever one you are more comfortable with, that's the one I recommend you do. I'll show you both ways. Then add the water. Here's the other way. I've been watching Shark Week since I was in high school. I was always fascinated with the ferocity and mystery of these animals. When Air Jaws came out, I was mesmerized. To see these heavy creatures be able to propel themselves with that velocity and breach the water was, as they like to say, unbelievable! Don't forget to make blue circles for our 3D shark fins to sit on. Unfortunately, I didn't film it, but I didn't want to waste any batter. So I put all three leftover colors in one piping bag and made circular swirls. Here they are. They look a little like waves, don't they? I'm using my American buttercream frosting to fill these cookies. Learn how to make it from the link below. Pipe frosting that doesn't reach the outer edge as sandwiching the macarons together will push it to the sides. 
Sharktastic. Do the same for the fins. Make sure you have lined up the mirrored cookies to go together. I wonder what flavor a shark would like. Maybe sea salt? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. To make the 3D macarons, first add frosting between the blue circles. Then, add a line of frosting across the top and place the fin. Isn't she cute? Continue making the rest of these 3D macarons. Let's add details to the breaching shark macarons. Sharks have one of the most powerful bites of any animal, so they need a mouth. I'm using an edible red marker to draw their open mouth. Next, the eyes go on the sides of their head. I'm using a black edible marker to make them. Hi, Jaws! A great white shark can have up to 300 triangular teeth. Royal icing is perfect for this feature. I'm piping little dots along the upper and lower jaw to represent his teeth. Side by side, looks perfect. Fill the breaching shark macarons with frosting and we're set for Shark Week or any other shark themed party. I hope you enjoyed making shark macarons with me. Make sure to subscribe now for your next adventure with the Princess Baker.